What's going on everybody and welcome back to the Tacomaholic channel. So recently I kind of noticed my girls getting just a little bit fat. Please forgive me baby. So today we will be doing a quick weight reduction. Alright guys, so as you can see, I will be showing you how to remove, completely remove, the rear seats and the rear storage panels for your second gen Tacoma. Yes, you can use this as a significant weight reduction, as you'll see at the end of the video how much all this stuff weighs, and I was pretty surprised at the weight there. But why else would you want to remove your seats? Well, I'm getting rid of all this stuff just temporarily because I do have some sound deadening material. I'm going to go ahead and line the entire back of my truck. I'm going to see how it does, and then I'll probably move forward depending on how much material I have, you know, with the doors and stuff like that. So that video is coming soon, so please stay tuned for that. I've also seen some people take out their storage compartments and replace them with a full Molly panel, which is certainly cool, and you guys know me. That's probably something I'll get into at some point. But just for today, let's get to the deinstallation. And just a few basic tools needed to do this deinstallation. You will need a 10 and a 14 millimeter socket. Some type of small extension you might need a tiny pry bar probably not but have one ready just in case and then the ratchet of your choice to get all these bolts off as always links for all this stuff down in the description below okay first step is super easy you want as much room as possible to work with you can see this is where i have my seats and i'm not a tall guy so if you're taller than me your front seats are probably going to be pretty much all the way back touching this so go ahead and slide both front seats forward to give yourself as much room as possible Next step, also in the theme of giving yourself as much space to work as possible. Technically, you don't need to remove the part where you actually sit, but we're going to go ahead and get these out of the way because of each of these, it's two separate pieces, each has just two 14 millimeter bolts holding it on the bottom down here where the whole thing swivels forward. So go ahead and grab a 14 millimeter socket and I'll just be using my new electric ratchet to get this off. It might help to have a extension like two or three inch like the one I have right there. Just for the simple fact that you can see this is the part that comes forward when it swivels and it sort of hides the bolt in there, so I'm not sure if a regular bit will fit in there. With both those bottom bolts removed, you can see the bottom piece, get the seat belts out of the way, just sort of lifts right out. All right, so we are already a third of the way done making progress. Look at all that extra room we have now. Next, you just wanna go ahead and lower the seat and you see these two squares on either side. Just get your fingers under the back right there and this should pop right up. If for some reason they do not, mine came off pretty easily, but if for some reason they do not, you could use some kind of trim tool and get it in there and just give it a little jiggle. Once you get those caps off, you can see it is another 14 millimeter bolt you have to remove. Once you get those two bolts out, the whole seat back will just lift right out like that. For the larger passenger side seat, there is one more 14 millimeter bolt right here on the bottom that is holding the seat belt cluster on. So once you remove that, you will just lather, rinse, and repeat for this side. Okay, so now the seats are fully removed. Just a few quick things to point out. This bolt right here, which was holding the seatbelt attachments for the passenger side larger seat portion, uh, the bolt actually goes straight through to the outside world. Not sure if you can see that on camera. So if you do plan on leaving your seats uninstalled, definitely either get a replacement bolt for this or like a piece of tape to put over there so water doesn't splash up in there. Especially if you go off road and get in the mud and all that stuff. The bolt that is on the seat belt for this, it is sort of locked in with the seat bolt mechanism, so I'm not gonna mess with mine. I'll just get a replacement bolt at the hardware store to fill that hole up. Aside from that, you can see you still have the brackets 
one on the left, one on the right over there, and then the one in the center. You could remove those, I'll show you how in just a minute, but for now just beware of those so you don't like hit your leg on them while you're trying to get these back panels off. If you guys are going to leave your seats out permanently and you do decide to remove the three lower seat brackets, you will need a 12 millimeter socket and each one just has two bolts and the ones on the side you just have to move that carpeting out of the way so you can get to it easily. And the first step in actually removing the plastic storage compartments back here, there are three 10 millimeter bolts, one, two, three. For the smaller sized one on the driver's side, so just take your ratchet and remove those. And then on the passenger side larger storage compartment, you do have another three 10 millimeter bolts here in the top right corner, left corner, and then down there. Then to actually remove the panel, you do have to remove the driver's side first just because this part right here overlaps onto the passenger side piece and sort of clips into this. Really all you're going to be doing is starting at the top, just get your fingers, you can see that one popped out pretty easily. If you've never done this before, it might sound really loud and you're popping these free, just take your time, make sure you don't break any of the tabs. Again, just start at the bottom. Mine is actually already loose because I had previously removed it. You can see it comes right out. And then here are the tabs where this one does install on the passenger side. And then go ahead and do the exact same thing for the passenger side. And there are all four pieces of the seats fully removed with the two rear storage compartments. And just in case you were curious, if you are considering leaving all this stuff out of your truck, if you know you never have anyone in your back seat or anything like that, all six of these pieces weigh 80 pounds together, which I was pretty surprised. That was a, probably about twice what I would have guessed. So that is a pretty considerable weight savings if you do plan to go that route. So just keep that in mind. All right, everyone, thank you so much for stopping by and taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time and you love everything related to Tacomas, please consider subscribing, give the video a like, and also comment below and let me know if you do plan on removing your rear seats, either temporary or full-time for that weight savings. Help me grow the channel by sharing it with your friends and family on social media. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video.